Okay, we're here with Domiziano Arcangeli of Waiting for Dracula and many, many other films for more horror. Yes, always a pleasure, Donna. Always a pleasure. It's so wonderful to be here with you again. In your beautiful house. We're, we're excited to be here and your babies are beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. They're my, they're my dream come true. They look just like you, too. Okay, now... Um, we're going to be talking about Waiting for Dracula. This is uh, Domi's debut as a director, so it's a really important film. Yeah, yeah, I actually, it's uh, something I always thought about it, but never had, you know, the guts, you know. I, I have been acting and uh, producing, writing for, since 1980 as you know, mm -hmm. and, and it's been a long time, but actually it took Steve Oakley to <laughs> get me to direct a movie, to co-direct a movie, and I, 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 I really enjoyed the experience. I really, I really enjoyed it. I, I, it was, you know, it, it was such a fun environment mm -hmm. you know nothing sacred <laughs> never a dull moment well how did you meet steve ah i met steve uh, quite a long time ago i think it was 2007 um he was uh, casting for a movie called absolute horror with uh which was very funny the concept was really funny it was about uh, a bunch of um uh, reality stars uh, who were actually real reality stars oh. in the movie and uh, they were kidnapped or anyway tricked into an isolated area in the canyons and uh, one by one killed by by a group of assassins and uh, you know, I don't want to give it all away, but you know, it's just like, you know, they obviously don't know that they are there to be killed. They just think it's another reality television game on, you know, on the vein of Survivor or what, what not. And instead, they're, they're getting killed for real. And then at the end, there is this twist, you know. Oh, what was your role? The killer. Oh, oh. Tommy! <laughs> You even doubt that. <laughs> you don't always play the killer. <laughs> Just well, I guess you do a lot. You're so good looking. I can't believe it. But, okay, so where can we find that movie? Oh, that movie has uh, been sold actually internationally, not yet released in the United States. I don't, oh. I don't believe, but I know Mr. Oakley is working really. Uh, uh, with a lot of effort to, to make it available in the United States as well. Uh, okay. Then we did, I don't even remember how many, I think we did four after that. I don't know because I haven't seen two or three yet. <laughs> but one was really funny, it was, an, it was, it was like a comedy, it was, called, it was called What Nudity is Required, and uh, that was a really great play about uh, actors in Hollywood, you know, mm -hmm. um, dealing with scams and douchebags and all that. <laughs> <laughs> and then... And oh, really? <laughs> yeah, really, right? Uh, and then uh, last, uh, last year we did a movie that came out through uh, TLA releasing um, called Addicted to Blood, which mm -hmm. is actually is still available on their catalog and it's a fun vampire exploitation movie and, uh, and now we we had this idea of making it more fun you know like you mm -hmm. said waiting for Dracula because Dracula is is an icon and everybody at this party is waiting for Dracula while, while Dracula is actually trying to make money <laughs> <laughs> to pay the bills <laughs> well I know that you've even helped to edit this film uh, yes, well, I, since, you know, we, we worked on two separate crews because uh, timing was an issue, especially because we chose uh, some nice locations and, you know. Mm -hmm. It was a gorgeous house, like up in Malibu. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, time is also uh, always a little bit of an issue in independent filmmaking. So 
we we uh, we shot uh, all my scenes with my crew and two cameras, two sound guys, and and all the rest. And and, and Steve had his, and we had our my scenes and his scenes. So I just you know helped to um, edit my scenes, and because mine were a little more abstract. I would say that while Steve tends to shoot in a way that is more, a little more theater-like, you know, just mm -hmm. very precise and, you know, very much in the dialogue. Mm -hmm. I'm more about the images. And, and so I had some things that I had to, uh, you know, connect and link together, otherwise they would have not made sense. But the way they are actually came out really nice, and I'm very happy. Uh, and I also wanted to say, you know, um, I've overheard Melanie saying, yeah, she's a wonderful actress. She has a fantastic nude scene. She looks like <laughs> Marilyn Monroe. And she does. Yeah, she really does. Um, but she's been also a great help uh, in producing this movie. So I would like to acknowledge her because she's been wonderful on set. And, mm -hmm. and you know, we had a, one, a few days we had so many actors on set. You know, it was incredible. Yeah. I mean, so, I mean... Well, the rehearsals, too. There were tons of actors yeah, there that did rehearse. Basically organized all of it, you know. I know. She did everything on the set. <laughs> it was great having her there, and she does look like Marilyn Monroe. So that's another reason to see the movie. And then there is you, which is a big reason to see the movie. <laughs> well, I was really happy to be in it, <laughs> so. It was lovely working with you. I'm sorry I actually didn't get to direct your scene, but next time. I yeah, think. next time. Okay, so what um, Well, what else can we say about Waiting for Dracula? When will it be available? Well, I hope certainly soon. It's going to a uh, very um, uh, experienced uh, music uh, score composer. Mm -hmm. And um, I've been talking to him in order to get... Uh, We'll see. We'll see. But I, I would like to get sort of a retro, which is my sort of my passion, you know, a retro soundtrack okay. with um, a little bit of the erotica themes from Ennio Morricone or uh, a few bossa nova. Because it's, you know, it's very funny. However, there are some moments that are very romantic. Others that are obviously, you know killings and murders mm -hmm. and you know and a lot of blood and yeah. a lot of uh, s <laughs> <laughs> oh really <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I was like a lot of sex well all right well yeah yeah I know it's an exciting movie I mean Excellent. something for everybody s mm -hmm. well uh, above 17 Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so your sons can't see it then. <laughs> this is the genre. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. it has its followers. So hopefully soon, I hope uh, before the summer. Well, it's beautifully photographed. I, I just can't wait to see the film. Now, it was written by you and Steve? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And it was directed by you and Steve? Yes. Produced by Melanie, Melanie Steve, you and Steve, right. and, and Matt, Matt right? Matt Hazen, yeah. Okay. For um, you know, um, Empire Films and uh, Grander Oakley Productions. Okay. Now I know you work all the time. So what projects are you working on now? Well, there is a bunch coming out, which I probably you know already told you. But I would like to point out that there is a movie that came out last year through Lionsgate, Virus X, mm -hmm. with Sybil Danning, that I produced and uh, starred. And the movie is directed by Ryan Harris, a young director, very talented director, and. Um, came out last, last year, now it's premiering on TV, on the, yeah, Fear, Fear Net TV, so um, it's going to be all uh, week from uh, March 25th on, and, and so please, uh, you know, if you haven't bought the DVD, the Blu-ray, whatever, 
just to watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, because it's a good film, it's uh, mysterious, and... It's a great film, and Dami looks so sexy, he's got long blonde hair in it, yeah. and so it's on fearnet.com. Yes, yes, which is a great new, you know, cable channel, and uh, mm -hmm. so we're all very excited about it. And then, I, if I might just anticipate the project that I'm going to be producing, with uh, Steven Hansen and uh, it's going to be directed by Mauro Borelli and it's a very important art film with, uh, with uh, an extremely visionary plot that comes from uh, an old ancient Greek legend, the Minotauros. Uh, modernized though, nothing boring, nothing, you know, it's gonna be full of new artists, hip-hop, rappers, uh, East LA like you'll never probably see ever again, and, um, and we're all very, very excited about this movie, it's called El Toro, production starts in July, and I'm uh, very, very excited, this is uh, my I would say my biggest movie so far. Wow, that's as that's a great. Producer, and I would say mm -hmm. uh, also as an actor. I mean, it's, it's just going to be a big, you know. Well, who wrote the script? Mauro Borelli, with um, with some help, but is is it's totally his idea also because it's a movie. Um, Fifty percent, I would say, based on images. It's extremely visual, mm -hmm. and it has attached already. We are so excited because we have attached all these great names for a great crew. Um, I don't know if it's okay to make the names yet, since you know all contracts are not signed. But mm -hmm. there are pretty amazing names attached. Yeah, and Morrow's known for his artistic abilities worldwide, too. So. Yeah, it's, it's a new movie. So uh, you're starring in it and producing it? Yes, and the movie, he wrote it for me, and uh, then he, he pitched it, and I was like, Wow, you know, you just got me here. How can I not make this? You know, it sounds great. Such a such a, you know, like a challenge, and, and, and um, his new movie is coming out too, we, we sold it, The Ghostmaker, it was sold mm -hmm. at Lionsgate, and it's coming out uh, at the end of the summer uh, through Lionsgate. Okay, that's uh, The Ghostmaker? Yeah, it used mm -hmm. to be called Box of Shadows. Oh. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, I know, I know it is Box of Shadows. So. Mm, yeah, they changed the title, but it's actually coming out uh, in the U.S. theatrical through Lionsgate and theatrical in many countries in Europe, France, uh, Germany, Italy, many more. Um, is that the first film that you did with Moro? Yes, yes, this was... Um, our first film, also because Mauro has been mainly, uh, I mean, is really wanted to be a director, but he used to be, you know, like uh, Francis Ford Coppola, Terry Gilliam, let me drop mm -hmm. some names here. Uh, yeah, those are big names. <laughs> yeah, everybody's, uh, Tim Burton, especially a uh, production designer, costume designer, and uh, storyboard, graphic mm -hmm. artist, illustrator, uh, and so is, is you know, is... Mauro has a great website, too, if you yeah. want to look him up. It's Mauro Borelli. Yeah, his art is also an artist himself. That's why he, he has, you know, this pull to, to involve all these people and, you know, and hopefully make a project that's going to be stand out and take us all to the next um, level, the A-list. Ah, it sounds exciting. And you can go to Domi's website at where? DomitianArcangeli.com or you may visit me on my Facebook page, uh, which is Facebook, Domitian Arcangeli, and uh, Twitter. And your EmpireFilms.net? Of course, EmpireFilms.net. Mm -hmm. And then if you look uh, Domi up on IMDb, I mean, you <laughs> his credits go on forever. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's amazing, and your score is like the lowest 
of anybody I know. <laughs> so. Thank you. Yeah, it's been it's been a long it's been a long path, you know. It takes a lot of um takes a lot of um hard work, right? Hard work, yeah. A lot of uh, a lot of sensibility too, I think, you know, because I think that I believe that any time we make a movie bad or good, a uh, piece of our soul goes into this job, into this work. Otherwise, you know, it wouldn't sound real and that's uh, that's what we do, that's what we try to do. Do you think having the boys has changed you as an actor? Um, wow, interesting. Uh, I, I think he made me certainly more understanding of others, more patient. Um, more loving. Uh, I went through a phase. I was a little bit jaded, I guess, after after years spent on you know TV shows or. Well, you've been doing this since you were twelve, right? Yeah, it's a long time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but my 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 sons, you know, give me a whole new dimension in life, and I I, I live by by the day. You know, I I wake up and it's another happy morning. Yeah, and you look the best I've ever seen you, so it's obviously something's going <laughs> good in your life. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much, um, and can you say hello to our More Horror audience? Absolutely. Hello to More Horror. I'm a huge, huge, huge big fan of uh, Seth Mathoyer mm -hmm. and uh, Jesse and Bill Burst and all the stuff. Everybody, I'm sorry if I forget someone. Of course, Shannon, Don Shannon Hilson. And uh, Donnelly Heising, mm -hmm. of course, wonderful as usual. And uh, hopefully I'll be, working, I'll be working soon with her again. I have a feeling, you know. Oh, I sure hope so. <laughs> <laughs> So glad you could make it, boss. <laughs> Preparations are complete. Everything's running swimmingly. I'm Darius. I'm Artemis. You come to Dracula's parties often? When he has them. I am Dracula, god of the night. I'm here to build my nest of empiruses. While Dracula builds his nest at the warehouse, the party begins at the mansion. I have never felt a connection like this, and not in 300 years. I want to have live vampirous webcam apps. Paid online to get access. Think the uh, on-stage slaughter interview with the vampire. I am a vampire. Line payments are flowing in. We're up to a thousand pays. Thirteen dollars a pop. Two thousand. We've got a gold mine. Three thousand. <laughs> you know Dracula. Everyone knows Dracula. This is Dracula's party. We're all waiting for Dracula. I like Nikolai. Because he's boyish. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, one by one, the party goers are turned into food by the vampires at the mansion. <sighs> My neck hurts. You know, we all have our problems. <laughs> Bite every little limb on their body. And we're gonna make them scream like little bitches. Oh. Oh. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for Dracula. Van Helsing. I hate that son of a bitch. It's been over 200 years that I've dealt with this guy. Dracula is actually the one that got away, and uh, recently I was hot off on his trail, and I have some information. I know his whereabouts, and um, I want to end his life. Dracula! I am totally a vampire. <laughs> Vampiruses are so beautiful. They're like a smorgasbord. 